Good morning, dear children. Welcome to Learning Maths with Michelle. Today, we're going to work with milliliters and liters. Now, when it rains, and you see the little raindrops falling one at a time, you need to know that each drop is really special and important. You need to find a container so that you can catch all that water because every drop counts. Now, look at this. Let's assume these are the drops of the rain and they're falling in a container. Now, when we have little drops, ta, 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 falling at a time, and if you could count these drops from the first one till the last one, which would be a thousand, then you will have filled a container that is equivalent to one liter. So that is to say, a thousand milliliters equals to one liter. Milli simply means sharing something into a thousand sections. So when we have one liter, and we can imagine sharing it into very tiny little containers, like this little one, can you see it? Then we will take this little bit that will be like one drop of water and fill in a container of one liter. As we count by the time we have filled thousand little little container like this one, the container that is one liter will be totally full. If it was a jug, it would be full of water. So that's my best way of comparing one tiny milliliter to one liter. So you see, a tiny milliliter is also important because it could be used in medicine or like when you have ear drops or eye drops, you could use this. But liters you could use for milk and juices and all the others. So let's see how we change milliliters into liters. Here we have 2,350. So what do we do? We already know that 1,000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. So separate this into thousands. This equals to 1,000 and another 1,000 and 350, right? And every thousand will become one liter. Every thousand will become one liter. And this one is not yet a liter, so we leave it. So you see we have one, two, we already have two liters and 350 milliliter, as simple as that. Let's try another example. If we had three thousand six hundred and fifty milliliters, we would still do the same thing. Come and share this into liters, into milliliters, sorry. So that would be a thousand plus another thousand, share it into thousands, plus another thousand, and what is left? 650. And you add your 650. Now, let's change everything. Each a thousand becomes one liter, another thousand becomes one liter, another thousand becomes another one liter. And so we leave that one because it is still not a thousand. So we have one, two, three, and we have three liters, 650 milliliters. So that's how it is done, as easy as that. So try more of this and see how good you become. So goodbye for now till we meet during the next lesson.